tell how how your family got involved in North Our our grandfather got started back in the thirties, and his father even had a couple before that. We got a, he got his first registered ones in nineteen thirty seven. Been registering under that Sassanac prefix since then, 80 years. Tell us how uh, he got the, reg- the story about the car. His dad gave him such a hard time about spending extra money for registered cows, and he told him that his cows were just as good and he didn't have to pay for papers. And when our granddad sold a cow and a heifer calf and a bull on the Kansas State sale, they had to be registered. He sold those registered animals and made enough money to buy a brand new 42 Pontiac to pay cash for it. And when he drove it on the yard and his dad saw it, he was very impressed. And he went out and bought some registered cows shortly thereafter. Now, 80 years later, you guys are still? We're still registering under Sassanac Farm. Everything we have here today, except for one head, is a Sassanac animal. And, well, and the brown switch. And you've been at the fair since 1967? 67. And that's when your brother? That's when my brother Kelly got his first head and started showing up. And then how old were you when you started showing? I'd have just been six. So a couple of years later, you're coming, well, no, longer than that. About three years later than I was old enough to get to 4 age and start showing. Oh, yeah. Well, why do you enjoy it? It's just been a family tradition, and I'm the only girl left involved in it. It was really important to my grandma, so I just wanted to doing that and hopefully I'll have my kids involved in it too and then I have to do all the work and grandpa can mm-hmm. sit back and watch. Well, what time did you get here this morning and uh, tell us a little bit about your morning? Woke up at five, five-ish, a little bit before five and we were getting ready, left around 5.30, got here around six and started milking. Do you think people realize what you guys do in the morning or how they don't know the routine it has to be a routine because that's what these cows are used to and they like having a routine and doing the same thing over and over again